everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing set 75965, The Rise of Voldemort. This set has 184 pieces and is recommended for ages 7 and up. The set includes four minifigures, Lord Voldemort, Harry Potter, a Death Eater, and Peter Pettigrew. The first minifigure that we're going to take a look at is Lord Voldemort. This is a new Lord Voldemort for 2019. He has some nice black robes with some green printing, probably because he's from Slytherin. He has an all white head with those details of the slits for nostrils and some yellow around the eyes. His teeth are barred, so some pretty nice printing. This minifigure comes with a white wand, and there's comparison against, like, my finger. Um, this does use the new dress piece that LEGO just released for their minifigures, which has more of a curve than the old, just conventional LEGO piece. And the green printing on the robes carries around on the back. Overall, this is a very nice minifigure to have in your LEGO Harry Potter collection. The next minifigure we'll be taking a look at is this Death Eater. This Death Eater is exclusive to this set, I believe, as of the time of the recording of this video. His accessory, or hers, is a black wand, and there's some nice shiny metallic printing. Let's see if I can get that. Metallic printing on there. That looks pretty nice, and then just some gray detailing to make it look more like robes. I will say the printing on my face for this figure is very nice. Most of the time when Lego prints these kind of colors on black heads, it doesn't look right, but mine looks really good. He also has this nice hat piece, which I have not seen before, and the same all black dress piece that Lord Voldemort uses. Our next minifigure is Peter Pettigrew, and let me just start off by saying, wow, this is a very impressive figure. The pinstripe suit looks very nice, and Lego got a lot of the fine details. They even doubled up some of the stripes. There are, seem to be, I believe it's part of the shirt, but scratch marks on the shirt. And Lego did print it, make him look like he's a little more fat. His accessories are a dark brown wand and a knife. You can see that he's already gotten his metallic hand that Lord Voldemort molds for him. And a very nice face print. Yeah, with just a typical longish red hair. And the pinstripe suit does continue onto the back of the minifigure. So And our last minifigure of the set is the boy who lived himself, Harry Potter. Harry Potter has a dark brown wand as well as his accessory. He has a nice Hogwarts logo printed onto his red and black shirt with alternating and on the back it says Potter with a star. He does use the Ninjago movie Lloyd hairpiece in black and the new mid legs which is nice to see in a set. Now moving on to the actual set you can break it up into about three sections. You have the grave for Tom Riddle the rebirthing section, and then these two little grave sites on either side. So the main play feature of the set is you take your Lord Voldemort minifigure, you have to take the wand off, and if you set him right here, lift up this back part and hide him underneath so it just looks like a grave like the other ones. Then you take your Peter Pettigrew minifigure right here and you can put him up here and you can make him throw everything into this nice cauldron that you get. Another piece worth noting that you get in this set is this little Voldemort baby, which is an exclusive print to this set compared to the other babies they've made. So you can drop your Lord Voldemort baby in, say all the things, blood of the enemy. And then you can be like, the Dark Lord shall rise again. And if you just take this gray piece right here and push down, Lord Voldemort is born again. 
I think this is a very clever play feature, and I think it's nice for Lego to incorporate into such a small set. A spot where you can take your Harry Potter minifigure, you remove his wand, you can make the angel statue have grabbed him, and Wormtail can take his blood. There's also an included port key, which is the thing that Harry Potter uses to get back. All right, now that we've finished the review of this set, let's look at the packaging. This set comes in a skinny $20 box size. And if you flip it around, you can see some of the play features, the set, the Lord Voldemort, and as far as extra pieces go, you get a handful. You get like the knife, that's pretty nice. The bone, the cheese slope and the screen color is nice. And the bush, dead bush. And the instructions go all the way to the back. No ads for any more of the Harry Potter sets in here. For $20, this is a great set, and I don't think you can go wrong. With four minifigures and a really fun play feature, I would recommend this to anybody who just wants to go and pick it up or have a fun time building. All right, bye.